Doping in football. Why is FIFA banned and what are its penalties? Football is one of the sports most associated with doping news, which is an offense that defames any player whose name is associated with it. Among the most famous soccer players whose names were associated with doping was the late Argentine legend Diego Armando Maradona, who was denied the 1994 World Cup in America after testing positive for doping. But sometimes players get permission from FIFA or local federations to take banned substances as part of a treatment they cannot stop. At a value of £150 million. The story of the most expensive three points in 2023. What are steroids? Doping in football is defined by the International Olympic Committee as the act of taking, intentionally or unintentionally, banned substances in prohibited ways. Footballers use steroids for a variety of reasons, as they give them an added advantage and help increase their stamina. Stimulants benefit players in matches that witness extra times, such as local cup tournaments, continental championships, and international tournaments as well, such as the World Cup or the European, African or Asian Nations Cup. From Highbury to Olympic Munich, the seven most famous historical stadiums for European clubs. Doping control. Steroids also give players the ability to increase their run rates in matches, which is crucial in modern football. There is another issue related to taking steroids, which is the need for a football player or athlete to speed up the recovery process after a long injury that kept him out of the stadiums, and there are cases in which players take substances that they are unaware of that they are prohibited and do not realize this until later. What are the harms of stimulants? On the other hand, there is a black side to doping on soccer players, as those who take these substances risk their mental, physical and mental health even in the long term. And stimulants not only affect the player physically, but also have a mental effect, and their side effects reach anxiety and hallucinations. Consequences of the World Cup Argentina is under FIFA sanctions but some of the stars of the round which resort to steroids because of the great pressure on them at the highest levels, whether pressure from the team they play for, pressure because of their names and stars, and constant demands for them to achieve more, or pressure to prove themselves. What is the penalty for doping? FIFA regulations and texts say that there is a code of conduct regarding doping, and that any player can draw a sample from him to test whether he has taken doping or not. FIFA allows players to undergo a doping test accompanied by a team doctor or colleagues. With regard to doping penalties, whoever commits the crime of taking a performance-enhancing drug is prohibited from playing the game for a period ranging from several months to several years, and may reach the final ban. Lost from Arsenal, Modric enters the history of the English Premier League through Chelsea in the event that the use of the drug was unintentional, and this matter was proven, the penalty may reach two years, and if the abuser knew, it may reach double. Diego Maradona at the 1994 World Cup in 2016, FIFA announced that after conducting more than 33,000 doping tests on more than 65,000 soccer players, men and women around the world, only 97 cases were positive, with a rate not exceeding 0.29%, which is a very low percentage compared to other sports. Thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe.